What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and today I have a review of the Olight S1 Batten. This is the Titanium Edition. So we'll go ahead and pop that box off real quick and take a look at the light. And the first thing you're going to see is, dang, wow, that thing is freaking small. And I agree. That was the first thing I thought, oh, it's going to be this big, but it's literally actually the size of the light on there, which I think is kind of cool. So what you're gonna come, what's going to come with this flashlight, you're going to have your flashlight, you're going to have a really cool little band in the back that I take off because I really don't really need the clip. I use it and I just carry it in my pocket, but if you want to have this clip under your belt, you can. And then it comes with three accessories. One is a lanyard that you can run. It's just the standard Olight lanyard as my traffic wand runs away. I also have a traffic wand, and then it comes with a Sear 123A 3 volt 1500 milliamp battery. And then in the bottom here, which I think is kind of cool packaging, it comes with the manual itself in a few languages because this flashlight is available in a few languages. So if you want to get this flashlight, go ahead and go in the description. You guys can get it in there. I'll put links in there because obviously if you see something cool like this, you're going to want to know where to get it. Um, first cool little feature is that it's magnetic. The top is magnetic, so you can put your battery in, and then when you want to pull it out, I just, I don't know, I'm, the little things, guys, it's the little things that I think are cool. So this flashlight is made uh, really cool. It's made out of a titanium alloy, and then the clip is made out of a stainless steel. Traffic wand is plastic, obviously, and then this is a fairly high quality. I think all the O-lights actually come with these sort of lanyard things. I don't know when I'll use it, but it's a cool little thing that's included in it. So we're going to go ahead and go over some of the functions of the flashlight. So first thing you can do is it's called a moonlight setting. This is the first brightness, and from the off mode, you hold it for one second and it will go into a very very low light you can barely tell that it's on and it has at least in the daytime and it has a 0.5 lumen setting so if i turn it on let me uh it's in the there's different settings i'm gonna reset it because i had it, i keep it on the middle setting so the first setting is seven lumens this is the low setting which i think is nice i like the low setting a lot if i'm just kind of in my car or if i'm looking for something um, the second setting you hold down for two seconds and that is the medium setting, that is at 75 lumens, and the high setting is 240 to 480 lumens, depending on which exactly like voltage your battery is at. And this is bright. This is a very bright light. I compared this next to my um, Claris XT11 and my Surefire light, and it's incredibly bright. I really, really like it. Um, I actually shined it outside, and, and it, it reached all the way to about 150 tree line, which foot tree line, which I think is really cool. And it was it wasn't as tight or dense of a beam because there's not nearly as much here, and you can't really focus that light like those bigger flashlights do. But it's really impressive how much I was able to get with this because this is a it's an everyday carry light i'm not gonna i'm not supposed to be i'm just i'm literally this is what i like i use this light for you don't need to blind people which but i mean i guess it's cool if you could um it has 110 meter range it has 480 lumens the brightness it's ipx8 waterproof which means it's basically able to be submerged continuously and hopefully it won't get ruined i don't know exactly what time that means um, but I mean, I know that there is an O-ring in here and that the thing is very tightly sealed. So it is waterproof. If you get it wet, you're not going to be a problem. I don't know if you use it continuously in the water. You definitely have to make sure that this was tight, like all the way tight. But if you use this in the water, I, like, I don't know why you'd go swimming with it, but I guess that'd be kind of cool to torture test to see exactly how long it lasts. But I like it too much, so I'm not going to chance it breaking. Next, we're going to go ahead and show you some pretty cool stuff that's with this. It comes with all the different languages, like I said. Um... I'm going to go ahead and show you the different settings and kind of how you can uh, do so. There's like four really cool little things that you can do. So the first one is that moonlight mode. So basically you just hold it and then it's one second. So this is like a really, really low light if you want to just kind of read a map or something for airsoft. That's, just, that's the way I would kind of see it as. Um, the direct access to high from an off state, you can double click and you can go straight to blinding. So I'm guessing that I would use specifically if like someone's trying to attack me or something, that would be, hey, I'm just gonna blind them real quick and then run away because I'm probably faster than they are. Hashtag athlete life. Um, third one is the strobe. So while it's on, you gotta triple click it, or <laughs> triple click it in quick rapid succession. And, oh, that was two. I turned on timer, whoops. So that's one, two, three. And then there's your strobe mode, which I think is kind of cool. Also, if you wanted to blind some dude. Um, now it's two clicks from off mode is the timer. So if you want to leave this on, one, two. Oh, I tried. It's from off mode. What? From on mode. Ah, I am. There we go. So that blink right there, that means I... I always like I want it, I just want it to come on. I use it as low, but it's I mess it. The button is so cool. You can do so many different things with it. I hit it too many times or hit it too a few times. Um, from it's the on setting, I believe when it's yeah when it's while on double click. Dang, this thing is this thing is 
it gets it gets kind of warm. That's why it says danger. Don't directly um, like leave on the high mode for a while. I kind of just left it on high, so it gets a little warm. I mean, obviously it's a flashlight. They do heat up pretty darn quickly. See the other languages, same thing, kind of on the other side. But I really like this flashlight. I think it's really great. You can see just how pretty it is. It says S1 Baton right here. Um, you got your little, I think this is really comfortable. It's like a little rubber. Um, you have your rose gold for those of you that love your iPhone basic white girl stuff. You got your rose gold bezel on, around here and then the tip of the flashlight as well. Um, it's gripped, texture, which is really nice. It has TI at the bottom, 4087. I don't know if that's a serial number. Um, but TI is the symbol on the periodic table for titanium, which I think is kind of cool. But yeah, guys, this is a really nice little light. If you want to pick it up, go ahead and check out the description. Thanks for watching this video. This has been Alec Mac 111 with a sweet pew pew BB operator light review. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.